Alright, four. Number 23. Okay, <laughs> trapezoid M A T H is an isosceles trapezoid. So we know that the isosceles trapezoids, we know that these base angles are congruent. Alright? And that's what the information they're giving us is. Well, we know that the measure of angle M is congruent to the measure of angle H. That's our strategy. These two base angles are congruent. Now you plug in the algebra. It's that easy. So then you get 2x minus 9 equals 3. I'm doing a video. No problem. And 2x is equal to 12. Well, I can divide by 2. I'm dividing by 2. And I get x equals 6. Is that my answer? Well, x is 6, but look, they want us to solve for the measure of angle h. So we've got to plug that in. Measure of angle h is x plus 3. So plug in. 6 plus 6 plus 3. Well, that's 9. That's the main one. All right, number 24. Which statement is not true for all parallelograms? Well, the diagonals are perpendicular. Well, that's true for a rhombus. That's true for a rhombus. But not all parallelograms. Let's see what else we got. Well, consecutive angles are supplementary. Well, that's true. Opposite angles are congruent, well that's true. And opposite sides are congruent, so it's A. The diagonals are not all perpendicular. It only happens in a, in a rhombus and in a square. Number 25, which of the figures do not have, do, does not have both pairs of opposite sides parallel? Opposite sides, both sides of opposite sides parallel, so. Like this, okay? Well, that's a trapezoid. We just talked about trapezoid. Rhombus does, rectangle does, parallelogram. We just talked about rhombus. Up here, these legs, these, these side ends are, are not parallel. Well, which statement is true? Which statement is true? A square is always a parallelogram? Well, that's true. All trapezoids are, are well, we just said that. We, we, trapezoid is not a parallelogram. We don't have, we have the top side and the bottom side are parallel, but it's the side, all sides have to be parallel to be a parallelogram. All squares are rhombuses. That's true also. All rhombuses are rectangles. Well, that's not true. So you have, you've got two choices here that are true, A and C. Let's look at the next one. 27, a quadrilateral with four congruent sides and an angle measure of 60. Well, that must be a rhombus because congruent sides is not a rectangle. Um, yeah, the whole definition, and it can't be a square because the square's angle measure is 90, so it has to be a rhombus. Number 28. Explain the figure to the right, whether it's a parallelogram, and justify your answer. Well, we got opposite sides that are parallel, and we have opposite sides that are congruent. So that is, this is a parallelogram because we have one pair of congruent parallel sides. Number 29, explain if the figure to the right is a parallelogram and justify your answer. Well, we got opposite sides that are congruent. Is that enough information? No, this is not enough information. Um, we just know that there's one pair. We need, we need something else. So I don't know. I don't know what, whether this is a parallelogram. All right, this is the fourth page of the Chapter 6 test review.